Hi, with the Butler Inspector, we have an easy tool for you to inspect data that's used in your uh, doc config or even generate a doc config without requiring uh, uh, components on the page. So the Butler Inspector can be uh, just quickly installed from the Chrome Web Store. So if you look on our Academy for Inspector, you will uh, find this page. And here is the link to the Chrome Web Store. Uh, it can be installed for both the Edge browsers and the Chrome browsers. So after installation, you will see that there is an, uh, uh, an orange square here on the page. And if you click on that orange square, it will immediately know that you are on a certain record page. It will only work for record pages, so not on home pages or anything like that, or lists. Or, uh, um, or lists. So uh, this is a record page for an opportunity. And from here, I can now just select the doc config that I want to use. I am going to use my card quotes. Uh, I can select the locale. So for this one, I'm going to use it. I'm going to generate it in English for the US. And then I can say, let's say that I want to see the data. This data to investigate maybe an error or uh, some information that is lacking. So I can just say what's uh, all information that's selected for my car opportunity uh, what kind of car line items do i uh, do i use over here uh, which is uh, the images that i use all of the uh, um, the families so all information i can quickly check directly on my um, on my data sources to validate if there is data issues or not now next you can also download that data as a json and that downloaded data can then later be used to rerun that same configuration or that same data uh, easily so you don't have to re uh, keep all of your opportunities or your test data there. Uh, generation is as quickly as easy as uh, just clicking this button. I click PDF and it will generate now the PDF for the uh, uh, English US locale. So when the document is generated, it will be downloaded uh, automatically. Now, you can check out this document and you will see that it's indeed in uh, in English, like the dates are in English, the uh, this uh, dollar sign is here, everything looks great. Now, if I want to generate it for another locale, let's say for Germany, that's DA, that's German in uh, Germany, an alternative here, I have an alternative on my doc config called DA, so I will use that one. If I'm going to generate the PDF, it will now generate for Germany. And if I download, uh, check out that one, you can see now that it is indeed in German. It's a German alternative. All the dates are in German and it will also have it formatted in Euro this time because we are a uh, uh, Euro in Germany. So uh, uh, you can also generate easily the Word document from here because this is a, is a main doc config. Uh, and if the, you use an Excel file or an Excel doc config, a PowerPoint doc config, you can easily generate the PowerPoint and the Excel also from here. Adding variables, it might be that you have a variable inside your data source. Uh, you can have, for instance, if you have a variable called start date, uh, that's of type date then you can just easily select here a date with the date picker. And if you have uh, then also an end date, you can just then also create a variable for the end date and then select that one over here, for instance. And then those variables will be passed on into your data source. So you can use them directly from there. And then you can also view the data. 